Hey everyone, it's Greg, and uh, welcome back to Geek Cheese, and welcome back to Kathy Rain. So, um, last time I was a little stuck, and um, I kept getting kicked out by the uh, by the girl who drowned by her mom, by the Myers. Keep get, kept getting kicked out of uh, the place by Mrs. Myers. So I was thinking maybe what I have to do is actually call them on the phone because I got their phone numbers. Um, so maybe I have to call them on the phone first and see how that works, or maybe call the Air Force Base too. So I am going to do that. Alright, so let me look at my notebook. Um, I don't have anything to say about... I got that number already. And why the heck don't I have these numbers? Where are all these numbers? Exposed picture. It's a phone book. Hmm. All right, so let me... I don't know why I can't use the phone book. That's weird. Um... Why the heck can't I use the phone book? Read notebook. Think about notebook. Combine notebook. I don't have anything to say about that. I don't have anything. Well, that's kind of frustrating. So I want to use the phone book, but I can't. Search in phone book. I got that number already. Got that number, but where is the number? Might want to pick up the handle first. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, let's call the Air Force Base, I guess. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Interesting. Um... Incident in 81. What can you tell me about McConnell Air Force Base? This is one of the oldest Air Force bases in the U.S., established during World War I. The main purpose of it is to train fighter pilots. The McConnell Flight School is well-renowned all around the country. In the late 80s, the school started accepting a limited number of civilian applicants due to the high demand. Some of the most famous dogfighters in U.S. history, such as Ethan Fireball Jenkins, Joseph Vigilante Rain, Joseph Rain. and Brett Xavier Myers trained Brett. at this very base. Charles Wade, the great industrialist, did too. Some claim that many of his huh. revolutionary ideas came from the former chief mechanic here, the late Niles Bloom. Interesting. Okay, let's Thanks see. for the history lesson. Okay, so the Myers. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked Hear anything not to that's provide contact about. details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. Why don't we just no say can't do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. All right, so we need official business. Um, but what if it was a matter of life and death? Ma'am, if you're in a life-threatening situation, I suggest you call 911. Okay. Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? That's I know that he was one. no longer stationed here at the base at that time. He'd left the Air Force decades earlier. But as a Conwell Spring citizen, sure, I've heard the rumors just like everybody else. How he was found by the sheriff, all messed up, walking out of the woods with some kind of unexplained brain damage. Any theory as to what he was doing out there? I'm afraid not, ma'am. But I'm positive that it had nothing to do with this base or our operations here. Okay, what can you tell me about his service at McConnell? Well, Joseph Rain is a legend around here. A pile of metals weighs more than my car. I was fortunate enough to meet him before he suffered his injury, and I must say, what an inspiring man. Hmm. I'm positive that he would have made general if he'd stuck around. Interesting. Any idea of why he quit? He looks so happy in the pictures from the war. Oh, your family, ma'am? Granddaughter. Well, then I'm sorry for your loss. I heard about his recent passing. Appreciate it, okay, buddy. So maybe so, now about we've him established quitting. a little bit of I a... shouldn't speak ill of the dead, but thing? some say the war broke him. A little bit of a rapport with this guy? Me? I don't think so. When I met him, he had this aura about him, like he wasn't afraid of anything. Maybe it was his guilt. He and 
saved a lot of lives, but that's just me speculating. You need a lot of lives. Gotcha. That's Thanks for the thoughts. Interesting. Okay, cocky. Do you recognize the aviator call sign, cocky? Afraid not, ma'am. I know all the call signs here, and I'm positive it's not one of them. This isn't current, though. It might have been used as early as World War II. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't keep any official records of call signs. The only option I can think of is to get a hold of somebody who was around back then. So any suggestions? The only person I can think of who is still alive would be Charles Wade. All right, thanks. My pleasure, ma'am. Anything else I can help you with? Yes, the Myers family. I need to know about the Myers family. I don't see a reason to ask him about that. <sighs> he mentioned a Myers. I though. don't see a I guess that's it. All right, that's all. Goodbye, ma'am. Hmm. My roommate can help? She seems like a book nerd. Whiz kid Hi, nerd. this is Eileen speaking. Hey, it's me, Kat. Hi, what's up? Um... Yes. I'm trying to contact Charles Wade. You know the industrialist? Wow, really? Why? It's complicated, but he knew Grandpa back in the day. They went to war together. Huh. Must be super hard to get in touch with a person like that. Uh, yeah. I'm finding that out. Come on, do some Maybe digging. Maybe you could ask someone in the Air Force. If he used to serve with your granddad, I mean. Yeah. Could be worth a shot. Damn it. Um. I don't need to ask her about. I'm trying to find this guy, but all I have is his nickname, Cocky. Well, what do you know about the guy? Not much. I think he was in the Air Force and served with Grandpa. Maybe you could try to find somebody in the Air Force who knew him then? Yeah. I don't need to ask. I don't need to ask. I don't need. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go. Talk to you I later. I have to call the. I think I have to call the Air Force again and try them again. And ask them about. McConnell Air Force Base. Hi. I was just wondering. Sure thing, ma'am. All right. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a pup. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? No can do. Okay. I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Nice try. You know what caller ID is? You can clearly sit by. Damn, I can't... Damn it. Uh, we have to get Wade's freaking contact info. Connell Air Force Base. Hi. Sure thing, ma'am. Okay. I'm trying to. I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles, he has explicit. Is there any way? No can do. Hmm. I can call from the police station. Never mind. All right, then. All right, that's. Goodbye, ma'am. All right, I'll call from the police station. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I got to distract um, that deputy again, and yeah, that's what I have to do. So maybe I was a little, uh, yeah, maybe I was a little early when I went to the the Ladies, need you to do something. people's house. How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. You'll have to get her a All right, this poor bum in jail. He's just doing me lots hey. of favors. Hi there. Uh, could you distract Lenny again? Sure, I needed to puke again anyway. Good to know. Cool. All right, this guy's gonna puke again for us. Awesome. Guess what? He's having some kind of fit in there. <sighs> Not again. Right, Here we go again. Let's use that phone. All right, here we go. Now we're going to get Wade's info. 
Connell Air Force Base. How can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had... Sure thing, ma'am. Uh, right. Charles, wait. I'm trying to get a... I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles, he has explicitly asked... Is there any... Oh, can do. I do have a fish... Hmm. I can see that you're actually calling from the station. You say you're a cop? You don't sound like a cop. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just because I'm a woman, right? <laughs> Women don't belong in law enforcement? Is that what you're saying? That's so <laughs> that's awesome. sexist. Now that's hardly what... Do you have any idea what I have to go through every day? <laughs> Nobody takes me seriously. The dirty looks, the sexual innuendos, I've... Relax, okay? I'll check the files. It's 555-7641. 7641. Thanks, buddy. Yes. Great, great, great. Uh, no, I need to... Hmm. No, no, I have to call. Actually, can I call there? So yeah, I'm gonna call. I'm just gonna use this phone, I guess, to call. Hmm. Wade Residence. Hi, this is Kathy Rain. I'm calling for Charles Wade. He doesn't live here anymore. What's that about? What do you want with my father? Uh, I'd just oh. like to have a quick word with Mr. Wade. It's about my grandfather, Joseph Rain. You're 20 years late, girl. My father has neither time nor energy to deal with you people. But... This conversation is over. Unless my father explicitly says he wants to talk to you, it's not going to happen. What a stuck-up, overclass witch. Well, she hasn't heard the last from me. I'm going to talk to that old man one way or another. Hmm. How can we... What can we do? Hmm. How can we do that? I guess we can look up his phone number? And something I don't think I need to do any of this but I already got the report yeah hmm <laughs> how the heck m so I guess <sighs> all right I'm just gonna try to the phone one more time but I guess I'm guessing like we can use the phone number and look it up that way I want to put a message in here, but I'm not sure what. I think I'll sleep on it and try to figure out something tomorrow. Alright, let's talk to... Friend in the dorm room. Hi, this is Eileen speaking. Hey, it's me, Kat. Oh, hi, what's up? I don't need to ask her about... Oh, well, okay, got it. Hi, Kat. Okay, so maybe let's call the Air Force Base again and see if we can ask about Charles Wade. And... Is it 20 years too late? McConnell Air Force Base... Hi. Sure thing, man. I've got the number already. All right, that's all. Goodbye, man. Damn. <laughs> Is there anything else that... I guess there's nothing else that I can go through there. These should come in handy when... Okay. Let's see. There has to be a way I can look up stuff. I got that number already. Damn it. I got that number. I got the address. Is there anything else that I can... Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm stumped. I'm trying to think of other ways that we can contact Charles. Wait, I mean, I would think that I could look it up somehow. I think we have to go to the police station. Hey, Sheriff, what's the deal with that bum? What bum? So there are files back here. Just a bunch of box. I'll need a key. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe. I don't see how those things work together. Oh, damn. Find the key with. I don't see how those things work. Okay. We have to use the key. That action doesn't seem productive to me. Damn. Boxes, boxes, boxes. Computer monitor. Small TV, various tools. Trans lockers. I'll need a key. All right, let's talk to this bum again. We need to get the key. I thought we had the key for the evidence locker, so. Hey. Hi there. Uh, could you distract? Sure. Good to know. Guess what? He's having some kind of fit in there. Hmm. Not again. Here we go again. Need the keys to the evidence. Thing. I got the key already. I don't think I need to mess with that anymore. Wait a minute. I already have the key. Yeah, I have the key. It's a small key. Fairly modern. Fax machines. The pinnacle of modern. I got the key. Ar okay, that's what I thought. Like, I have the key. Let's go in the... A bunch of cops lining up for various notices and a wanted poster. I should use this time to poke around. Yeah, but I can't... Hmm. Hmm. I got the key already. I don't think I need to mess with... All right. I'm going to use the phone. I'm going to try to call the Air Force Base again and see if there's anything I can do here. Anything else I can do, I guess. McConnell Air Force. Hi. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. I've got the number. I don't see a reason. I don't see. What can you tell? This is one of the main per in the lady. Some of the most famous Charles. W Interesting. All right, that's all. Goodbye, ma'am. All right, damn it. Um, I don't think she's gonna be able to help me with anything. Um. Hi, this is hey, it's me. Oh, hi. I don't need to. I'm trying to find. Well, what do you? Not much. I th Maybe you could try to find somebody in the Air Force who knew him then? Yeah, that might- Okay, got it. Bye, Cappy! Hmm. <laughs> this Wade lady's gonna be- You've reached Erica Wade. I want to- I wonder if the sheriff would know anything about this place. Nah, I should use this time to poke around. I can't poke around. There's, like, nothing here. I already have the key. I got the key already. Files. I 
Can't poke around in his office. Nah, I should use it. Hmm. I'm absolutely stumped. What the heck do I need to do? Are you done wrapping my presents? Hmm. Let's go upstairs in the attic, I guess. Maybe there's something else up there? There's nothing else in the briefcase. I've already searched that. An old type... Just some old bills. Various books. What was that, dear? The dog's not eating his food. Nah, nothing else. In Our dog's just laying a bit. <laughs> He's so lazy. Oh, hello, dear. All right, let's. Uh, I'm so stumped. I don't know what to do. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? I already showed her that. I don't want to show. What can you tell me? Well, apparently he yes, came up dear? with some brilliant piece of engineering for the airplanes. They use it everywhere now. Any idea how to get in touch with him? I'm afraid not, dear. I haven't any particular. Oh, that's cool. I didn't put any. I didn't put any stickers on any of my presents. We're not putting them. We're not putting them uh, under the tree until. I know what you're saying, though. Just to delineate. Sorry, folks. Just, just chat about Christmas. I am so freaking stumped. Did I ask her about this stuff? I don't think we need to discuss. I don't think we need to discuss that anymore. Hey, Grandma, do you recognize this tape recorder? Oh, yes, Mr. Dicto. Joseph used to carry that thing with him everywhere. He could be absent minded at times, it helped him remember things. What do you think about this church? They seem harmless to me. Huh, you could say that. Handing out pam- Awfully strange behavior for a priest. See you All later, right. Grams. Take care. Take All right. I'm going to end it here because, again, I'm stuck. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to... I actually may have to do some digging and try to figure out what the heck I'm doing here. But, uh, so I'm going to cut it off here, leave it there. And next time, hopefully, I'll be able to find something out. So we have to get to Charles Wade. But the lady on the phone was really rude. Air Force Base isn't being helpful. The Wade is the key. Because we can't talk to the... We can't talk to the, the Myers people yet. So I'm kind of stumped. So I'm just going to stop. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pick it up next time with Kathy Rain. And I will see you then. Bye.